Hey, hey, good evening, West Lawrence Raider Nation. Pat Ford here, Coach Stacy Nobles. Again, great game this past Friday night at the Horseshoe. Took it to the visiting team this week. Good feeling out there, wasn't it, guys? Yes, sir. We've got two of our seniors here with us, uh, DeAndre Wright, Adrian Channel. We're going to talk with them a little bit about their senior year. Also going to be looking back at some of the years, how long they've been here at West Lawrence, what activities they're in. But again, a great game this past Friday night. Appreciate all our fans coming out, Coach. Tremendous game this past Friday night. A great win, first round of the state playoffs. Uh, taking it to a very tough, aggressive team this past Friday night. Yeah, the weather was very athletic. Uh, we told the kids that all week, and, uh, and they came and fought. And, uh, and we made some mistakes early. Uh, had a chance to probably put the game away a little earlier, and, uh, and we uh, let them hang around. But, uh, man, the kids bounced back strong, and uh, finished strong. And, uh, you know, this hats off this senior group, uh, first First team in our first time in school history that we've won three playoff games in, in three straight years. So, and it's a tribute to these guys, these seniors, and and, uh, and how hard they work and, uh, and their leadership. And uh, you know, we hope to continue that uh, the, the going forward in Jefferson this week. Well, we're looking forward to breaking down some of the highlights, uh, second half and then third half, breaking down our uh, game this week against Jefferson. But right now, I want to take some time with uh, these special seniors, uh, a great group of seniors like you always talk about, uh, Adrian Channel uh, and DeAndre Wright. Adrian, tell us a little bit about um, the position you play, your number, what are some of the aspects, what do you do for the West Lawrence Raider football team? Well, I play outside linebacker on number 22, and, you know, just, I just help my team out. And just, you know. Just get after yeah, it. Yeah, get after it. Now, playing outside linebacker, uh, I know y'all have defensive schemes or certain like a 4-3, 3-3, 4-3, or whatever y'all run. Um, what is your particular focus most every play? Is it just to fly around? Yes, sir. I just, fly around and just help my boys out, make, make the play for them. Mm -hmm. yeah. How long have you been playing outside linebacker? Uh, two years. Two years? Yes, sir. Um, so how long have you been on the uh, Raider football team? How long have you been playing football? Uh, since middle school. Since middle school. Yes, okay. Came through uh, West Lawrence Middle. Yes, sir. All right. All right. DeAndre Wright, uh, tell us a little bit about yourself there, DeAndre position. Uh, same similar things we want to talk about, sort of get your scope on West Lawrence High School football. Okay. Uh, I'm DeAndre Wright, and I play strong safety, I'm number one. And on defense, my motto is just to stay behind my brothers the whole time and mm -hmm. keep everything in front of me at safety. Keep everything in front of you so nobody gets behind you, no burned. Don't like that. That's never good. What does the coach do when uh, that happens during practice? You get on to it and it yeah. stays on it. It's a dangerous thing, isn't it? Yeah, it makes me better, though. Makes you better. Tough as nails. Made some great plays. Both of y'all made some tremendous hard-nosed rib rockers this year. Tremendous plays on the defensive side of the ball. How long have you been uh, playing football here at West Lawrence, either the middle school and high school Just combination? four years. I started my freshman year. Started your freshman year. Been playing a lot. Have you been always at the cornerback or strong safety position? Uh, strong safety. I just moved there. This year, really, I used to be a free safety and running back, but now I'm just playing strong. How do you like the strong safety as comparative to maybe the free safety or something like that? I mean, I kind of like strong because it's downhill and, you know, I can play the sides easier. Sort of float and make sure, yes, sort sir. of like uh, um, your brother here, uh, making sure everything gets to, you're really getting to float around and hit everything. Now, what do you uh, remember, Adrian, uh, as, as the, probably the most exciting time as a Raider? The region championship of resume of prison that we won. Now, no doubt about it. That's yeah. always a good memory. Y'all yes, played a lot of big games, too, through the years, that being one of them. Yes, uh, DeAndre, make biggest moment. The, make it to the um, playoffs once again. Man. Uh, and as Coach said, back to back to back, getting into that first round, region championships, second in region, playing for the region championships, playing in that first round, winning, moving on to the second round, third, making those moves. How does it feel uh, to know y'all's legacy that y'all have had uh, has been so strong for West Lawrence. What what makes that? What makes it? Um, what makes you so successful here at West Lawrence? My coaches. Coaches. Yeah, coach. Coaches. Now, uh, who's the defensive coordinator? Coach McLean. Coach um, McLean. Coach McLean. He tough. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. He, he's, he get on you? Yes, sir. Well, good. No doubt about it. You can tell because of the tenacity uh, that you all play with. Coach always talks about hats flying to the ball. Um, what do you want to do when you graduate? What's your thoughts? I plan on playing college ball, but if I don't, I'm going to just make it in. I'm going to go to school for kinesiology. Kinesiology. Yes, sir. 
All right, that's the bending of the joints and the bones or the muscles or something like that, isn't it? Exactly. Yeah, it's far out of my purview, but that's an exciting <laughs> field, wide open field. Um, a lot of a lot of opportunities as you move into that. Any college that you're thinking about or have uh, sort of a direction for or just uh, wait wanna, and see? I want to go to Southern or State. I'm liking that. Georgia Southern got my ring on uh, <laughs> back in the day, back in the 80s. Tracy Hambone back in those days. Great school. Any of them you go to, exciting to be moving forward into that phase of your yeah. life. DeAndre, what about you? Uh, plan on going to college, playing college ball, becoming a physical therapist. And, okay. Uh, I want to be, uh, you know, going to Vanderbilt. Going to Vanderbilt. All right. Nashville. Beautiful place up there. Great school. And being, again, uh, coming from a, a football-oriented uh background, playing for all those years, staying involved with athletics, both of you wanting to stay involved with uh, athletics and some. What do, you, do you think y'all are coaching? What do you think? I don't know about that. That's a pretty tough job. You That's got a lot of job. kids to stay on to and it'll yeah. take a lot. Adrian, what do you think? think Maybe a coach like Pee Wee or uh, Rec Ball. Maybe yeah, you get, you know, y'all got a lot of experience. Okay. Yeah. Got a lot of experience, a lot of knowledge. Uh, always good to get down to, uh, to some level yeah, with y'all's yeah. background and knowledge. Um, what do y'all do here at West Lawrence High School? Anything, what else are you involved in, uh, not only this season during the football time, but extended through the full term of school? Do y'all like? Uh, we run track. Okay, yeah. run track. Track, weightlifting, football. Now are y'all. We'll for basketball this year. So. Okay, well, are y'all on the uh, the state champion weightlifting team that uh, that we have here at uh, West yes, Lawrence all the time? Um, now, as you move forward and you're looking at uh, track, what do you do in the track? What's your, what are your field events or events that you do? Well, I throw this. I run four by one and two hundred. Four by one hundred. Yeah. Play linebacker, and you're running yeah. on the four by one hundred. Yeah, That's pretty that. fast. Yeah. And strong throwing the discus. Man. Um, long jump, two hundred meter, one hundred meter dash, four by one, um, high jump. About it. So, and have y'all run track and participated in track for the last number of years? Yes, sir. Along with Same weight training yes, and all that. Fantastic. Well, two of our f fantastic seniors right here on the defensive side of the ball. These are the guys that you see flying around with the hats, hitting people, shutting down offenses like y'all have done all year. Guys, congratulations for a another great season. We appreciate uh, the hard work that you put in, the character that you show to us uh, is phenomenal. We yes, appreciate sir. that. When we come back, we're going to be breaking down highlights of this past week's victory in the first round state playoffs with Coach Stacy Nobles. Choose the convenience of Neighbors Express and get friendly, courteous service every time you visit any of our convenient locations. Fill up with pay at the pump and take advantage of our bigger and better selection of beverages and tobacco products. And buy 12 packs of Pepsi products, two for $6.99. Enjoy the popular crushed ice with your favorite fountain drink. Also enjoy a fresh, hot breakfast. Stop by for lunch or dinner. It's always fresh, always convenient at Neighbors Express. Now located at I-16 and 441 and in Cedar Grove, providing farm fuel for all our customers. Count on the convenience of Neighbors Express. Offensively here, Storm wanted to highlight Darius Bradford here. <laughs> Just a monster block there on that number four. Uh, Darius had a couple of pancakes, I think, on about the first two plays of the game. Uh, here's a nice run, read play by Austin. Again, making guys miss. Uh, Austin's played really well the past few weeks, and uh, he really makes our offense go when he reads those things correctly. Here's another big block by Darius, puts that big number eight on his rear end, and Storm flattening around the edge, uh, pick up positive yardage. Physical game, Coach. Oh, yeah, it was. Uh, big run here. Great blocking on the edge by Caleb Christian. And a big block there by Ben Deal to seal it. And Darius uh, finds his way in the end zone for the first score. Uh, Andrew Dukes, who was 4-4 uh, on his extra points the other night, uh, put, us, put us up 7-0. And the kickoff, done, done well with uh, setting yes. it to where you wanted it. Yeah, DeAndre Wright right here, who we just spoke with. Uh, DeAndre, big special team play for us there. Uh, gets down, tackles a guy as soon as he gets the ball. Uh, excellent job of uh, uh, stringing their speed guy out here by Ben Deal and uh, McKinley Kemp. A uh, big tackle for loss there by McKinley. It was nice to get him back. Uh, we have missed him uh, dearly the past few weeks. Excellent play there by Shundrick and Mateo Elvine. Mateo had four tackles for loss and two sacks the other night. 
Had a phenomenal game. Shandrikas almost came up with a big interception there on the screen. Uh, so really, man, defense played uh, with the exception of about three plays. Busted play here, but Austin uh, improvises and uh, puts his head down and uh, make, gets a nice game for us there around right edge. Unfortunately, we turned it over after that, uh, but defense comes right back. Nice play here uh, by Jathaniel Allen, Dorian Gorham. Uh, Dorian played a really solid game the other night. Uh, it's great when you spread out the, the number of tackles absolutely. between the players. Yeah, the other night it was, uh, it was definitely like that. We had a lot of guys. Big play there by Ben Deal uh, on the outside. They try to fake a punt on us right here, but Dorian Gorham uh, reads it. And uh, we were in safe. We were in our safe defense. Uh, so we were kind of set up for it. And uh, Dorian did a, a good job there making a big, big play to get us the ball back. Again, unfortunately, we, like I said, we had plenty of opportunities in that first quarter to put the hammer on them quick. Great play there by Mateo. Uh, but those uh, two early fumbles we had, they recovered them and, and uh, stole a little momentum from us. Uh, great play here in the open field by Jathaniel Allen, uh, bringing their quarterback down. Back on the offensive side now. Uh, just a great hard run here by Darius. Uh, always going forward. <laughs> uh, this is after two fumbles, and he's just he's protecting that football and running it hard. Uh, great play here on play action. Uh, throw from Austin Ramsey to Ben Deal. Gets us down inside the five-yard line. And then the next play, Darius is able to uh, punch it in, bounce it outside a little early, but uh, still fights through about four tackles and uh, gets in the end zone to uh, put us up 13-7. And uh, Andrew made the extra point to go up 14-7. They try a little trick play on us here. Defense wraps him up. Should have been intentional grounding, uh, but uh, – we didn't get that one, but uh, Jathaniel was back there. We had it covered well. Elijah Howard didn't bite on the fake and uh, stayed with the receiver. Uh, great pressure here all night from our defensive line. Uh, Abram Marr, Shundrikas, and Mateo played outstanding. Great coverage there by Riante Demons, senior. And uh, here's a big one, just a couple minutes right before the half. Uh, Dorian Gorham gets in there and uh, blocks a punt. And uh, Eric Lattimore comes up with the fumble. Uh, the recovery. Was that a called punt block? Yes, sir. It? Yes, sir. Uh, we, uh, we've we been close to getting them all year, and uh, we had it called there. Coach Allie Good, our special teams coordinator, does an outstanding job with that, and uh, and uh, we finally were able to get back there and get one. Unfortunately, we uh, got stalled on the drive and, and ended up having to uh, try a field goal, and we missed it. Uh, but the defense uh, smothered them there at the end. Another great play by Mateo. Excellent play here by Ladarius Williams. Uh, Ladarius played a lot both ways the other night at the starter force at tight end and uh, off, uh, also defensively. Just an excellent play here by Shundrika Smith. Blows up his blocker and uh, is able to start the tackle. Jathaniel right there, you know, just a lot of blue hats around the football. Screen right here uh, goes nowhere. Our guys just uh, about seven blue hats there around it. Another great tackle for loss there by Mateo. How do we match up yards uh, per game with them as far as what their offense picked up this week and uh, we, how we did? You know, they, they had over 100 yards rushing this week, but uh, like I said, it was on a couple of big, really just on two or three runs that they broke on us and then they had a long pass. But uh, we had close to 400 yards of offense and, wow. uh, and they had uh, about 170, I believe. Wow, good game. Another just tough run. You think Darius is down and just uh, squirts out of there, breaking tackles, dragging folks. Love seeing that offensive line, second wave, moving back into those linebackers and on some of the cornerbacks. Yeah, and that, they gave us a problem. Their, their linebackers were so athletic. Uh, here's a great play from a uh, great throw and catch from Austin to Isaiah Mormon. Uh, plus, we get the face mask tacked onto it there at the end. And uh, next play, Darius uh, fake it to Storm. Great blocking on the edge. Darius breaks a couple, and he's able to get in the end zone. 
and uh, puts us up by two scores now. First play of the fourth quarter here. Darius breaks free again, breaks a couple of tackles, and then outruns everybody to the end zone. And, uh, and they had some speed right there uh, that he was outrunning. Uh, that was touchdown number four on the night uh, with Darius Point. That put us up 28 to 7. They try a little trickeration here, throw it back to their uh, speedster out on the edge. And man, Elijah Howard, uh, senior cornerback, does an outstanding job. One-on-one uh, -on -one situation there, making that tackle uh, on that kid. That kid was an athlete. So again, great job by our special teams there. Big tackle here for loss for uh, Ladarius Williams. I guarantee you Ladarius slept well the other night. He played a lot of plays. <laughs> Another great pressure here by Ladarius, forces the quarterback to, to ground the football. Try another screen here, and uh, just an excellent open field tackle by Ben Deal. Uh, Dorian right there, uh, right there in position to, to make the play if, if you need be, but uh, just a great effort there by Ben Deal. Quarterback flushed out here by Shundrikas and Abram. Uh, just a great open field tackle here by Dorian Gorham. Uh, uh, beats the blocker and then is able to. Yeah, he took on the blocker took and on the blocker took down and got at it. the same time. They were able to get a score on us, threw it over the top. Uh, like we talked about earlier, something we don't want to happen. And I made it 28-14, so we line up for uh, in our hand, with our hands team. And uh, they kick it to the wrong one. They kick it to Caleb Christian, who uh, I trust uh, – I trust as much as anybody I've ever coached as far as fielding the football. He's been phenomenal all year. And uh, that got us, got us the ball back and just tough running here by Darius. Darius punishes that safety. Well, you wanted to send them home knowing that they got beat. That Absolutely. was a good – physically uh, took it to them, both sides of the ball. Great run, big run here by Isaiah. It was third and 22. And uh, we're about to have to punt it back to him. And uh, Isaiah breaks the tackle. Stiff arm the guy stays in bounds and uh, sets us up down and, and uh, you know, really with the opportunity to completely shut that door. And uh, we bring the horse back in. And uh, looks like he's wrapped up, tackled, uh, makes about four miss. And he's in the end zone for number five. Uh, a second straight week with uh, five touchdowns. Uh, it's pretty phenomenal. Uh, pretty good day at the office. And, uh, and then I put this on here. This is our uh, sophomore kicker, Cam Jackson, coming in and hammering it through, uh, getting that extra point in. And then right here, just wanted to demonstrate the hustle. This was not an intentional onside kick. Uh, Andrew miskicked it, and uh, it went straight up in the air. And a lot of blue hats hustling around down there. And uh, I believe Dorian Edmond come out of that thing with it. Piled on there for a few minutes, but uh, we were able to come out and uh, get in that victory formation, and, and there's your final 35 14. So, praise God for a, for a great victory for the Raiders. Dr. Price and Dr. Peters at Dublin Orthopedic and Rehabilitation have been a part of our community for many years and very proud to support high school football. We are proud of our children and their commitment. We share that same commitment when it comes to our patients. You'll always be a winner at Dublin Orthopedic. No referral ever needed. Just call us today at 272-3022. Whether it's a sports injury, carpal tunnel, stress fracture, ankle sprain, or any other injury, don't waste your time or money going to the ER, urgent care, or hospital. Come straight to the specialist, Dr. Price and Dr. Peters at Dublin Orthopedic and Rehabilitation, 2406 Bellevue Road in Dublin. Welcome back, Raider Nation. Coach Stacy Noble's breaking down some great highlights of this past week's game against Luella. Tough game this Friday night. We got to go on the road. 
on with about five O's. Got to go way up north. Let's talk a little bit about this coming week's game against Jefferson. Yeah, you know, we, uh, you know, when you get to this point, uh, 16 teams left, uh, it's tough. We got uh, uh, the one seed out of Region 8. Uh, Jefferson, uh, their only team left out of that region. Uh, but they're 10-1. and one. Uh, They're 10-1 and one for a reason. They're a good football right. team. Uh, very big on both lines of scrimmage, big, physical. Uh, extremely well coached. Uh, you know they play hard. Uh, they get after it. They're they're a winning football team. You right. know you can tell a lot of the same attributes our kids have. They've been doing this for a long time. They've had a lot of success, mm -hmm. and uh, they expect to win. Uh, you know so they take the field. They get after it. Uh, you know offensively they're going to come. Uh, they're going to come right at you. Uh, they're a downhill running football team. Don't throw it a whole lot, but when they have thrown it, they they have been efficient throwing okay. it. Uh, they got a freshman that plays a lot for him at quarterback. Uh, he's about a 200-pound kid. He's, he's wow. more of a runner. He's rushed for over 500 yards. And uh, he's got a big offensive line in front of him, big tight end. Uh, they probably average well over uh, at 300 or more across that line. Wow. Uh, so it's going to be, uh, you know, this is one of the, one of the teams, uh, probably one of the few times this year we've been outsized. The Warner Robins was that way. Uh, mm -hmm. their, their line size-wise is, is, is uh, very similar to Warner Robins. They are big. And, uh, you know, so and they, he's got a, a great tailback behind him, okay. uh, number six. He is a phenomenal player. Um, he's, he's uh, you know, probably the closest thing I've seen to Darius all year. He's mm -hmm. big, physical, fast, and uh, tough to bring down. So, uh, but that's been the strength of our defense all year. So, right. uh, you know, we're going to try to force them into situations where they have to pass the ball. And, uh, you know, if we can do that defensively and, and get them in a situation where we take their run game away from them mm -hmm. or limit their run game, uh, we feel like we'll have a, a really good shot. Uh, and then offensively, they're, uh, like I said, big. Their deep strength of their football team is their D-line. Their D-line's big, physical, uh, very active in the, in the secondary. Linebackers fly around. They're multiple with their fronts. So they'll do a lot of different things. They base out of a three-man front, but uh, they, uh, they get down in a four-man look and then also in a five-man look. Uh, so they do a lot of the same type stuff we do defensively. And, uh, but, uh, again, it's going to be a, a matter of us executing, right. uh, staying on blocks, uh, you know, uh, finding ways to uh, get to those second level blocks uh, and, uh, and then just protecting the football. Right. Uh, we can't go up there and turn it over. Uh, we can't go up there and be sloppy with the ball. Uh, the team that makes the fewest mistakes will probably win this ball game. So true. And uh, especially this time of year, that's, that's as prevalent as anything. So right. uh, they're solid in their special teams, a uh, really good kicker, a uh, good field goal kicker. He's been uh, extremely consistent all year. Uh, I think he's 51 of 51 on extra points. Wow. And uh, I think he's eight of, he's only missed one or two field goals. So uh, that's a weapon for him. So uh, they're a solid football team. Should be a great atmosphere. Uh, we're looking forward to the challenge. Uh, you know, uh, not many people give us a chance to win this ball game, and that's the way we like that's it. That's the way you like it. And, uh, you know, we're going to go up there and, and put our best foot forward. And, uh, you know, we feel like if we play up to our potential and do what we're capable of doing, uh, we'll have a chance have a to chance win the football win. game, and that's all you can ask for this time of year. So no doubt about uh, it. We're uh, we're excited. We need the Raider Nation to come out in full force. I know it's a long trip, but hey, there's only 16 teams left in Quad A. Uh, we need y'all to be up there and be loud and proud. So it should be a great atmosphere. Keys to the game: nothing new. No, same as y'all no, been absolutely. doing all year long. Absolutely, run the football and protect the football. Uh, you know, uh, play field position uh, and play good defense. Good sound defense, run to the football, and, and be solid in the special teams. We do those things, we'll have a chance to win, the, uh, win a big ball game and get into the lead eight. Folks, West Lawrence, this is where it's at. Getting behind the Raider Nation, enjoying this time of year. Not a lot of people playing this time of year. Coaches, yes, it's sir. an exciting time. Uh, through the years, we've always wanted to see this at West Lawrence. We're going through this in the last number of years, being at this level. It's an exciting time. Let's get out. Let's head on up. Jefferson, this Friday night, 7.30. Time doesn't change. Still 7.30. Let's get behind the West Lawrence Raider. Coach Stacy Nobles, we'll see you next week. West Lawrence High School Coaches Show.